An exciting discovery made right here in San Diego County will make its public debut in our skies starting tonight. A green comet will pass Earth for the first time in 50,000 years. CBSA's Shannon Handy is looking up. To see the green comet, you're going to need binoculars or a telescope, and you're going to have to move away from the city and go to our local mountains or desert to get a clear view of the night sky. This is a picture of the so-called green comet. Starting today, it will be closest to the sun and is expected to become even brighter as it nears Earth in early February. It does not pose any danger. The closest it will get is about 27 million miles. Dennis Mamana is a local astronomer. He says to understand why this is a big deal, you have to know where comets come from in the first place. It's a chunk of ice that is left over from the birth of our solar system. When one of these things comes close enough to us, we can take measurements of its size, of its speed, we can figure out where it came from, we can figure out what it's made of. And that tells us about the birth of our solar system. As for this particular one, the green hue is the result of its chemical makeup. Usually a signature of what's called diatomic carbon or cyanogen in the atmosphere of the comet. When that gets excited by sunlight, it tends to glow green. The comet was first discovered in March of last year by astronomers using a wide field survey camera at the Palomar Observatory, which has been around since 1928. But it hasn't been visible without specialized equipment until tonight, making an appearance for the first time in 50,000 years. It's not something you can see with your naked eye, correct? No, you can see it with a small telescope or binoculars if you know exactly where to aim them. The best time is during the early morning hours after midnight from an area far from city lights. You'll have an even better chance if you wait a few more weeks as it makes its way closer to Earth. February 10th, it will appear fairly close to the bright planet Mars in our sky. The green comet won't be quite as visible compared to the Neowise comet, which flew across our skies back in 2020. Still, astronomers and star lovers alike are excited. Many posting about it on social media saying to have a chance to spot something not seen since the Stone Age is a once-in-a-lifetime event everyone should experience. If you'd like to take a look at a live webcam tonight or get tips on where to look in the sky, just log on to CBS8.com and click on this story. For CBS8, I'm Shannon Handy. Very cool. Thanks, Shannon.